What's up everybody, Daniel here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about a topic which comes my way very frequently. Hey Daniel, how do I get more corporate or more business uh, events within my venue? So corporate functions or corporate events are very attractive because they tend to spend a lot of money, they tend not to be uh, too concerned about the prices that you're charging, and they tend to just wanna have a good time, probably have some good food and some good drinks. So I've put together some talking points or some things in which I think would be beneficial to any venues or event spaces out there who want to generate more corporate or corporate private functions within their venue. So let's dive into it. I've put down five, um, so we'll go from there. So the first thing that I wanted to uh, break down, which is probably the most common way to generate uh, corporate functions within a venue, is repeat business, okay? And this is usually done through like corporate Christmas parties. So often at the end of the year, businesses tend to have a Christmas party with their employees and the uh, leadership team, and usually they might do some speeches, maybe do some prize giving and then you know they'll, ha they'll have a party okay so uh, the the way that a lot of venues get repeat business is they have a corporate event with a uh, business maybe it is a local um, business in the area and then the next year what they might do is hope to get that business back to book at their venue again for the Christmas party that they're having so the the good thing about this is you might be able to get a business do repeat business with your venue. However, the reason that that would happen is usually because they have a relationship with somebody. So let me do this. Relationships is going to be very important here. Um, this is great if your staff members or your leadership team have relationships with uh, people at companies that have had uh, corporate events with you in the past. But the problem is if the person within your business tends to uh, leave and then they take that relationship with them, it's gonna be very hard to get that um, corporate function booked at your venue again. Or if the person that you have a relationship with at the business uh, leaves for whatever reason, then that relationship is going to be severed. Um, so what you can do is you can try actually own those relationships yourself as a business owner and try own those relationships with the business owner of the uh, companies that are having private events with you. Um, because that way, when you try and get a, generate repeat business, you can do it with a little bit more confidence because as long as you're still owning your business and they're still owning their business, that relationship would be safe. Rather than having that relationship owned by either an employee of your business or an employee of their business. However, you know, beggars can't be choosers in a lot of these situations, so uh, it is, it's more of an ideal thing that we wanna be pushing for, but it doesn't always happen that way. But the first way you can generate more corporate events is through repeat business uh, from relationships that you have with other businesses in the past. So the next talking point that I wanna mention is something that you're gonna probably have to be aware of, and it is understanding the types of corporate events or types of corporate functions that your venue is going to be best for. So some examples of corporate events that a venue could have are going to be team building events, corporate seminars, business meetings, business lunches, business dinners, corporate celebrations, awards nights, awards ceremonies, and Christmas parties. And the reason why I wanted to break down a few different types of corporate functions is because all of these, uh, the, the common theme is they're all corporates, right? The, the person making the purchase is going to be a company, so they're still gonna be uh, you know, easily willing to pay the prices that you're charging. They're still probably gonna want food, they're still probably gonna want drinks, and they're still pro probably gonna want um, a space uh, to host their event. However, the reason for their event is going to be very different because the venues that are probably good for uh, business meetings or, or coffee meetings or coffee lunches are probably going to be uh, very different to the venues which are good for corporate Christmas parties. But they could definitely be the same. I'm not saying that they can't be the same. However, it is likely that they're going to be different. So what you want to focus on is building a reputation around the types of corporate events that your venue is going to be best for, okay? So don't try uh, build a reputation around all types of corporate events unless your venue is going to be good for all types of corporate events. If you're only good at for you know Christmas parties, maybe you're a, you're a nightclub. Uh, there's no real sense in trying to promote, uh, you know, business lunches or business meetings if that's really not what your venue resonates with. Because we all want the money that the corporates have and and what they're willing to spend. However, we we have to ensure that what we are aligns with the type of event that is being planned. Okay, so just ensure that you know who you are. 
okay? The talking point number three that I wanted to discuss is ensuring your venue is actually desirable for the type of corporate event or corporate function that you want to generate more of, okay? It's sort of like a cart before the horse analogy. It's really nice to want to do more corporate Christmas parties, but if your venue is not built for it, it's, it's unreasonable to try and expect businesses to want to do business with you around their Christmas party if your venue is not going to be a good option for it, okay? Obviously, we want the result. We want the money that's going to be generated from those Christmas parties, but you really have to be a Christmas party spot and build a reputation around being a Christmas party spot in order to generate those because you can't expect businesses to invest their time, energy, planning, and money into doing business with you if you're not willing to invest in yourself first and lead the way, okay? So it sort of aligns with point number two, but ensure that the business is up to par for the type of corporate event that you wanna go for. So in summary, just ensure that your venue is up to par, okay? Up to par. For the types of events that you wanna be generating, for the types of corporate events that you want to be focusing on and generating more of into the future, okay? So moving on to talking point number four. Running targeted advertising to businesses in your local area. If you're gonna be running ads on social media, you can actually run advertising to people who are admins of local businesses. So you can just focus on broad targeting if you're gonna be running advertising, but you can also test running advertising to people who are admins of business social media pages. And then you can create a radius around your business. So drop a pin on when you're creating social media ads, put a 10 mile radius, obviously that radius will depend on population density, and then run advertising to a broad audience with creative speaking out to business owners, but also run advertising to uh, business admins, so admins of business pages on social media. Split test both of those advertising angles with just creative and no targeting, and then creative but with business admins as your targeting, and see how you go. Um, the goal is gonna be starting sales conversations with people who are in the process of planning a corporate uh, function. In this way, um, it allows you to shortcut your way to starting their sales conversations by buying them, okay, which is pretty cool. So that's gonna be talking point number four. Um, talking point number five is going to be building a video library of testimonials which your venue has done in the past with corporate events, okay? So whenever you do a corporate function, whether it's a team building event, awards night, uh, business dinner, Christmas party, make a mission once the event has actually been completed uh, of getting a video testimonial. These video testimonials are gonna be great marketing assets. You can put them on your website uh, under a corporate or uh, business event tab. You could also put them on social media as content, run them as targeted advertising to people in your local area, but also run them as retargeting advertising to anyone who has hit your website, anyone who has liked or followed you on social media. This will help uh, structure a reputation around your business as being a go-to uh, corporate function spot. Again, know who you are, understand the types of events that your business is going to be best for, and then build a testimonial library around those types of events, because the more you put it out there, the more that you're going to get back, especially when it comes to building a relationship around corporate private events. So these are five sort of, uh, not necessarily tips, but ideas and things to keep in mind. If you wanna generate more corporate private functions within your venue, make sure you're good enough. Uh, understand that relationships can be leveraged to generate repeat business. Know who you are and what types of events your venue is going to be good at. Make sure that your venue is up to par for those types of events. Run targeted advertising to business owners in the local area. And number five, build a testimonial library of the types of corporate private functions that your venue has had success with in the past and push them out to your local marketplace to build a reputation for you. So I hope that uh, video made sense to somebody out there. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, also, if you like this video, give it a like. Would appreciate that very, very much. And please subscribe, it helps us a lot. So I appreciate you guys taking the time today. Cheers.